The Unified Modeling Language Sequence Diagram is a diagram that shows how the process intro operates with another process, and also, in what order the interaction takes place. In the diagram, each message between objects is represented with a message expression, shown on a line with arrow, connecting the objects. The time ordering is organized from top to bottom. Messages and focus of control are shown with activation boxes. The focus of control conveys the regular blocking call, the operation, which is on the call stack. Activation boxes appear to be optional, but commonly used by UML practitioners. A sequence diagram may optionally show the return from a message. The return appears as a dashed, open arrow line, shown at the end of the activation box. Many practitioners exclude them. Some annotate the return line to describe what is being returned from the message, if anything. A message can be illustrated as being sent from an object to itself, by using a nested activation box. On the diagram, newly created objects are placed at the height of their creation. The Unified Modeling Language also illustrates object lifelines. The lifelines are shown as dashed, vertical lines, underneath the objects. The lifeline indicates the extent of the life of the object in the diagram. In some circumstances, it is also desirable to show the explicit destruction of an object. This is common in C++ which by default does not use automatic garbage collection. In C++, garbage collection can be added to the system by using a third-party library. The lifeline notation on the sequence diagram provides a way to express the object destruction. The destroyed area type message, with the large X and short lifeline, indicates the explicit object destruction. The conditional message is shown by its square brackets and a condition expression between them. These should be used sparingly, since the readability of the diagram with conditions gets lower for many users.